Those of you that have been watching my videos know that I think Tanner Muse is a hell of a pick for the Raiders. I'm not saying he's as good, but he has a lot of the same traits Isaiah Simmons has. Head coach John Gruden said he's going to be a backup linebacker to ease his transition to the position from free safety. But the 6'2", 230-pound Muse has played plenty of strong safety in the box and linebacker while at Clemson. So is Gruden just trying to keep the pressure off of his third-round pick? Muse has the skill set and immense capacity to start there right now. And beside Nick Gwitkowski and Corey Littleton, who else does he want in there? Middle linebacker Vontez Burfitt was the only do-it-all linebacker the Raiders had last year. And with this hit against the Indianapolis Colts in Week 4, he got himself suspended for the rest of the season. So when Tahir Whitehead took over for Burfitt, the Raider defense was fine against the run still. But against the pass, not so much. Whitehead showed he couldn't cover when he played alongside Burfey. So it should have been of no surprise to see him getting beat down the field by running backs. And even less of a surprise to see him get beat down the field by tight ends like Travis Kelsey. No matter who the Raiders put out there in 2019 at linebacker, they were going to get beaten coverage. So the Raiders decided to do something about it this offseason. They signed Nick Kwiatkowski, who can play the run. He can shoot through gaps to make plays. Take on pulling linemen to make them. Kwiatkowski can also go sideline to sideline to make those plays. He can also put some heat on the quarterback while blitzing. He's good for a few sacks and turnovers. If all you have is a running back to block when he's coming through the A-gap, you can forget about it. Kwiatkowski is underrated in coverage. He's usually good for a few turnovers there too, even though he misses this one. But he's not going to miss this one after faking the A-gap blitz. Or this one. He gets his hands on a few footballs playing man or zone coverage. And if he's spying, he wishes quarterbacks like Patrick Mahomes would try him. Corey Littleton is a do-it-all linebacker himself and a playmaker at that. He can shut down running backs in coverage. He can also defend the best tight ends in the game in coverage. He's been a 3-4 will that lines up inside the last few years. But with the tight ends the Raiders have to deal with in the AFC West, they should move him to Sam. He'll be right there to take that tight end right out of the game. Opposing teams won't have much success running at him, and he can chase opposing ball carriers down from the backside. And while those opposing teams expect him to cover since he's so good at it, he can put mad heat on the quarterback. You gotta love a guy that can chase Mahomes down and hit him like that. You really gotta love him for his ability to get the ball back for his offense. He forces fumbles. He 
gets interceptions. He even scores with them at times. And he forces interceptions with the pressure he puts on opposing quarterbacks. Kowski and Little to make one of the best two-man linebacker cores in the league, but they need a third one to complete the core for their 4-3 defense. As of right now, Nicholas Moreau is in the lead to be that third guy, and he plays a run well. And when he's on in pass coverage, he's really on. Oh. He can get there just in time to deny the catch. But he's very inconsistent coverage as sometimes he stumbles. Oh. And other times he just gets plain B. A lot of the time, both tight ends and running backs seem to have his number. Meanwhile, Tanner Muse has been underestimated in coverage. Here he is at free safety getting hit with a double move by Jerry Judy. And for that, he got credit for having tight hips. The man was just fooled. Here, Virginia's gonna get him matched up with their number one receiver, Hasis Dubose. And he got fooled again trying to cover a number one receiver. It had nothing to do with his hips. Here he's covering the slot and he doesn't get fooled, so he flips his hips and runs with them. I'm not trying to make a case for Muse to be a safety for the Raiders. They've already went out and got free safety Demarius Randall in free agency. Randall was a free safety in college, and the Green Bay Packers drafted him in the first round and turned him into a corner. But he has since moved back to safety, and Jonathan Abram, who is now healthy, will be the strong safety. But Scout said Muse should be mute the linebacker and that he can't even cover there. But he's played some linebacker in college. And the question there is, is he too light to fight and too thin to win at the line of scrimmage? But that's one play and everyone gets got in the NFL. But he can take on linemen and squeeze the hole so his teammates can make a play. He can also take them on, shed them, and make the play himself. And a running back trying to cut block him isn't likely to succeed. Oh, and Muse ran a 4-4-1 at the combine and a 4-3-8 at his pro day, so you're not going to get the corner on him. Muse is intelligent and disciplined, so you're not going to fool him on misdirection either. No missteps, just straight to the ball. I thought it was a part of a comedy routine when Scout said Muse doesn't play up to his time speed. Now here in the college playoffs, Muse is off the field and watch Ohio State running back J.K. Dobbins break on Clemson's defense. No one catches him. Now Muse is on the field as a linebacker and he can't get there to make the play before it breaks, but he can hustle and run Dobbins down from behind. Screens are normally blitz killers, and Muse is blitzing on this play, but he's able to peel back and run the guy down before the play gets too far. Defensive coordinator Paul Gunther loves this one as Muse is in the double A gap look. Then he drops out of it, and he gets his hands on a pass intended for a receiver way downfield. Here he does an overbite on the fake, and he 
picks up and stays with Thaddeus Moss all the way through the scramble drill. I can't remember what they called that, but that's not a catch in the NFL. And that's versus Moreau overbiting big time and missing his man. Here's Muse on Moss again, this time deep, and he has no problem with it. Here he is covering the slot again, and he shows some athleticism as he defends the fade. And Muse definitely isn't opposed to taking a gift from the offense. The Raider defense can use that. With that speed, you should not leave him unblocked. Here he gets a hit on the quarterback on a quick screen. And again, you're not going to fool him. So leaving him unblocked on a waggle isn't going to work. Muse is doing it from the safety position here. But Gunther's going to love to bring him as a linebacker on the double A gap blitz with the speed he has. You'll even see Gunther bring that speed off the edge on occasion. The Raiders will be much more versatile at the linebacker position this year. They have Nick Kwiatkowski at Mike and he can play the run. Get after the quarterback. And cover. Littleton could do it all too. And at the same time, he's a turnover machine. He gets the ball back to his offense by forcing fumbles and snatching up interceptions. That's all well and good for nickel and dime defenses, but it's better for the Raiders to have a third do-it-all linebacker for their 4-3 base defense. And Tanner Muse can very well be that guy right away. Thank you for watching and see you next time.